Hey everyone, how's it going? Now normally I'd be all dressed up as snazzy, but you know what? It is getting nice out. It's like 78 degrees out here. Uh, screw it. In fact, you know what? Warning! 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 If you are not subscribed to Nintendo Prime, I will kick your dog. <laughs> In all seriousness, folks, why don't you hit that subscribe button, comment down below. We actually have a giveaway going on for $100 cash money! <laughs> Hey, making it rain up in here at Nintendo Prime. To enter, head down to the description or the pinned comment. A bunch of different ways to enter. Most of it just involved with subscribing to the channel, commenting, all this stuff, pushing our podcast episodes, all that jazz. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Now here's the deal. We have some big news for you today uh, because of Oatmeal Dome. Now it's not really Oatmeal Dome. Switch Brew and others have discovered this. It's really because of Nintendo. So we've talked a little bit about this Switch 12.0 update because it looks like on the surface, Nintendo didn't do much. It was like minor maintenance. It was just, hey, here's like, we're patching a few things with your saves on the cloud server. Like, yay, here's a 12.0 update, like jumping a full version ahead of the last update. Really strange. Usually that would be like a minor update. That would be one of those, uh, hey, uh, we have stabilized your Nintendo Switch system. Well, it turns out this update actually contained a lot more. We already talked about the fact that it actually contains information on a new dock or a new uh, update for a dock that currently doesn't exist for a system codenamed Alula, which we have seen references to in the past. It seems to be an unreleased Nintendo Switch piece of hardware, potentially Switch Pro. We'll have to wait and see for sure because we're not sure that Alula is that per se. We just know it's a reference to a hardware that currently doesn't exist. So, yes, there's a new dock coming using the same code name as the other stuff that has the same code name for the new Switch. So it does appear if we get a Switch Pro, it'll have a new dock. I don't think that's surprising with all the 4K DLSS rumors out there. But we're not talking about that in this video. We're actually talking about another thing Nintendo slipped into this update that would be a really, really big deal, although it's not being used yet. And this could be for this Switch up here. It could also be for a Switch Pro. It could also be for new accessories coming. And that potentially is Blue tooth audio now the switch has had a bluetooth audio chip or well, really just a bluetooth chip in general inside of the system from day one that's how their controllers connect they're not using some proprietary connection like xbox series x's they're using just straight up bluetooth so when you go wireless with your pro controller or you take uh your joy cons off the side of the system you're using bluetooth and the thing is uh, that Bluetooth has always had the ability, if Nintendo would enable it, to allow Bluetooth audio. What you're seeing up here is one of the many solutions people have already been doing for Bluetooth audio, and that is using a dongle. It's kind of cumbersome. It takes up the USB-C port on your Switch, so you can't just, like, plug it cleanly into a dock. There are workarounds and, US, uh, and, and dongles that go through the headphone jack to give you that Bluetooth experience, but none of it's as seamless or as interconnected or with the lowest possible latency that could occur if you would just enable it through the platform. Now, there is no headphone jack on a Pro Controller. There's no headphone jack on the Joy-Cons themselves. So even having Bluetooth audio run through a controller and then being able to plug headphones in would be at least a compromise. If you're not going to allow full wireless Bluetooth headphones, at least allow Bluetooth connectivity through the controllers to use you know, any headphones you want there and not have to run a cord all the way up to your Switch if you're in docked mode. Or obviously, we know the dongle mess, <laughs> the hot dongle mess it is to do voice chat through a phone plus have the audio come from your switch and have it all be in one headset it, it, it's really not a, a clean elegant solution uh it's one of the least elegant things from switch from a platform that i gotta admit even today with that massive bezel still looks pretty elegant now my thing is what could this all mean well one yes they have added the capabilities for bluetooth audio in this update but it's not being used you can't use bluetooth audio with the switch right now so there's a couple ideas floating out there. One, they're going to enable Bluetooth audio just full board and let you use wireless headphones and wireless headsets for the games that let you do local voice chat. Fortnite, I always bring this up, is a prime example of a third-party game that does not use Nintendo Switch's phone app and uses their own in-game voice chat. You could literally in-game voice chat on Fortnite on Switch right now. You just have to be plugged into the Switch. It's not too bad when you're in portable, of course. A bit of a hassle when you're in... Uh, 
obviously in a, um, you know, a doctable situation, but it is what it is. Uh, at least it's an option. Now, my big thing with all of this is that I think this means there is new stuff coming. I think this is more applicable to a new Switch. Now, this does not definitively have anything to do with Switch Pro, but I do think it has something to do with it because I do think that they're going to enable you to use headphones at least through Joy-Cons or a Pro Controller in the future. Basically, what I'm saying is I think they're going to actually put a headphone jack on a future Pro Controller or Pro Controller Plus, whatever they might call it. That's just a guess right here. Or on new Joy-Con Plus or something like that, where there's going to be new Joy-Con that come with the Switch Pro that they're going to take the headphone jack off of the main Switch unit. Well, maybe they'll leave it on the Switch unit. They could have it on both, by the way. You don't have to, like, definitively remove the headphone jack off of the Switch. But I think they're going to put a headphone jack on the bottom of one of the Joy-Con. And, yeah, you're going to be able to then plug headphones into that. And for plugging headphones into your Joy-Con or into your um, controller to work over Bluetooth, they have to be able to accept a Bluetooth audio signal. So adding Bluetooth audio support would be required in the operating system and at a hardware level, of course, in order for you to even use wired headphones over Bluetooth with a controller. So, yes, it could just be as simple as that. They might not be letting you go full Bluetooth standard headphones on their own, not plugged into a controller, because there are audio latency issues. It's been a constant issue with Bluetooth over time. Yes, there are better Bluetooth signals than others, higher quality products than others that create less latency. I can just use my car as an example. Bluetooth audio in my car, which is a 2013 um, Dodge Durango Citadel, uh, it has Bluetooth audio. You can Bluetooth hook your phone up to it and you know watch videos or, or play music, but there is an audio delay, and the audio delay is significant. It's like one and a half to two seconds, and if you're watching a video, things are out of sync. It's just not... It's not good. Now, I'm not saying you should watch videos in your car, but I'm just pointing out that there is an audio sync issue, and that's over Bluetooth. Now, that's, you know, seven, eight-year-old Bluetooth, and my parents' 2016 Volvo, their Bluetooth audio, it's only about a 0.2 millisecond delay. So it's barely noticeable. You really got to be a big audiophile to notice that there is a delay. Uh, and that is what I think we really want to see here with Bluetooth audio on Switch. If they're going to allow full wireless headphones, uh, then, yeah, we want it to be the high-quality Bluetooth. Now, that's going to depend, obviously, on the Bluetooth chip in the system and also depend on the quality of the signal. You'll gather the antenna and all that on your Bluetooth headphones. If you're basically buying, you know, $10 wireless headphones, you can't really expect to suddenly not have good latency. But for those that do invest in the best they can get for Bluetooth headphones, which, by the way, there is a limit on the sound quality from Bluetooth headphones. Uh, so, you know, that is something to keep in mind. But yeah, I, I think it's more apt that Nintendo's looking to potentially support a, uh, you know, a, a 3.5 millimeter jack on a future Pro Controller or on future Joy-Cons for a brand new Switch. Now, those Joy-Cons might be cross-compatible with the current Switch, and therefore, this might not, not, not just be an update for, you know, Switch Pro, but also be an update for the current Switch. So this is actually an exciting update for all Switch owners. Because of the potential. Now, again, we don't actually know what's going to happen, but uh, I'm excited. I'm excited by this entire prospect that finally a basic feature that's pretty much available in one way or another on every other platform in existence, including that phone in your pocket, uh, is now finally going to be available uh, on Switch at some point. Nintendo would not add this support if they weren't planning to do something with it. That's the big thing. It's one thing, you know, when you see patents and other things thrown out there, those products don't always come to exist. But this isn't a patent. This is just an update in the firmware for an ability that the hardware, one way or another, will be able to support. So third parties have been asking for this for a while. Gamers have been asking for this for a while. So stay tuned. Uh, I think this is some really, really exciting stuff. And uh, I'm just glad to be part of it. Uh, that being said, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. Be sure to enter our giveaway. Uh, it, it's just cool to, to give back to the community. Use that $100 cash for anything. you got to pay bills. You need some diapers for your, your baby. Uh, you need to you know get some groceries. Whatever you need to do. I wish I could give away more, to be completely honest. I wish I had thousands and thousands to hand to you guys to help out as many people as I can, but I'm just not in that kind of 
financial position, but I am in a position to give you a hundred bucks or give at least one person a hundred bucks. Uh, so that's our giveaway for this month. Heck, use it to buy games. Whatever suits your fancy, I'm not here to judge. All right, folks, I'll catch you guys in the next video.